So let me show you how this guy works. Typically your blade's up in the air. There's the blade. It'll be up in the air like that. And you, you've got your stock sticking through here and you're trying to measure, you're trying to take a tape measure and measure to a blade that's up in the air to the end of your stock. Uh, you can't get really accurate on it, especially for one-offs. Um, this, this way, you just uh, turn it on, flip it down, slide it over to whatever you're measuring. A lot easier to do, not looking through a camera. Eh, good enough for what I do. Clamp that down. And where, that, where that's measuring to, it's not measuring to this part of the blade. It's actually measuring to the staggered teeth. One of those teeth is going that way. The other tooth is going that way. It's measuring to the staggered teeth on this side. So you kind of guaranteed your your cut size there. So that's at 307. We stick a 1, 2, 3 block in there. And right at the bottom, it starts to grab there. So it's, it's, it's actually measuring to those staggered teeth. And when I cut, I have to move this out of the way because as that cut breaks off, what happens is this piece will wedge between this stop and here if I don't and stop the blade. It doesn't do it every time, but it does do it. And I'm usually over there at the saw uh, when this thing's cutting. Uh, I like to let it cut by itself. Uh, and this actually works very, very slightly.